Hey guys, Xbox here. Check it out again. This is going to be sort of a Tonka truck slash car wiring video. Yeah, anyways. Um, some of you guys asked me how to wire the, uh, the power wheels to make sure that it's not going in parallel and that you're actually getting, you know, the extra voltage that you're putting on there. Some of the people are saying, hey, I added an extra battery, but I don't see any you know, room for improvement. It doesn't go any faster. And it's probably because you did them um, in parallel and not in series. When you run it in series, you can combine the voltage. So if you get running 212 volts, you're going to go 24. If you're going to run it in series, or if you're going to run it in parallel, what happens is basically you just sort of get double the runtime, right? You're going to have two batteries. They're both going to pull a little bit from each and maybe not double, but you're going to get extra runtime. So what I want to do for extra power is I want to run these in series. So it's real easy to wire up. Basically, you're going to need two connectors if you're using the, the standard power wheels connectors. And you can see we have the white and basically the white is going to go into the white on one of these uh, connectors, right? No big deal. Then the negative on it comes up and it goes into the white or the positive of the other connector, right? So the negative goes into the positive and then of course you're going to have the negative here and the negative is just going to go all the way back down to the actual negative here. So if you look at it, it's pretty simple. Really the only thing that's really funny here, we do this, is the uh, connector here that comes off. I just made it go up in here. You want to give yourself ample enough room. That's why I made these sort of longer, my crappy uh, job here. I wanted to make them a little bit longer so that you can uh, fit two batteries side by side. And this will give you basically, if you use two of the 12 volts, it'll basically give you 24 volts. And you'll have a lot of power, but it's not as fast as say, if you use you know a LiPo battery that's 24 volts or 22 volts and weighed less because you have less, um, you know, less weight to carry around. So again, do you guys can see this? You go from the white to the uh, positive, the negative goes up and into the positive on the other side, the negative from the other one goes all the way into the negative down to the thing. So again, very, very easy. Hopefully you guys can see that. And hopefully this clears some of the things up for you. Again, you know, if you want speed, you guys want to run them in series. If you guys want power, uh, or sorry, if you guys want speed and power, you guys want to run them in series. If you guys want to run them in parallel, then that's going to give you the extra run time, right? It's like having two batteries, maybe putting like two like in an Emacs or something like that. So there you go, guys. Again, I'm going to catch you guys up with my uh, Mustang updates here soon when I can test them out. Definitely a lot quicker. I'm waiting for my 20, 22 volt or six cell, whatever it is, to come here soon. Thanks again, guys, and definitely subscribe if you haven't already.